With summer quickly approaching, we are wrapping up mm -hmm. bee swarm season. It is the most active time for bees looking to set up their colonies, also an active time for beekeepers trying to take in those valuable insects. Our Dylan Thomas found there's actually a state bee phone line, and Dylan, that hotline brings people and bees together. Jim, that's because a swarm of 10,000 bees plus their queen is worth well over $150 for bee experts. So this morning when a Denver woman was on her porch sipping on a cup of coffee and she saw a swarm, she was quick to call the hotline and the hotline was quick to respond. In cartoons, it's what people run from. But for Greg McMahon, how beautiful bee swarms are big business. Ooh, I can even smell honey while I'm standing here. Which is why he has no fear being exposed to one of the largest swarms he has seen this year. There's 15 or 20,000 bees right here. McMahon is with Rocky Mountain Bee and helps dispatch beekeepers to dozens of calls for help each week from those like Olivia Smith. Noticed a swarm of bees um, circling around. The bees not only outside, but in. Maybe I better call somebody. I guarantee you, you have 100 pounds of honey in the ceiling of your house, you're going to regret that one. Before the queen of this massive European honey swarm left Smith's tree, McMahon called in backup, one of his beekeepers, Robert Clearwater Jr. <laughs> Using a shop vacuum, which then funnels bees into a hive box, Clearwater clears the trees of the swarm. In total, upwards of 30,000 bees were in or around the tree, something the average person cannot handle themselves. It's better to call somebody to come and get them. Smith said this was one way she could dodge the often harmless swarm while also making sure they thrive. I want them to pollinate, and I, but I want them to do it somewhere else. Which is exactly what will happen. Those bees were collected via that vacuum that you just saw, not only saving Miss Smith the hassle of dealing with them, but also saving that beekeeper over $150. Reporting live in Denver, Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First.